Hi, uh, let me give you a quick intro about uh, Coneworks MCP uh, implementation. And uh, okay, so we've done that in our Coneworks GPT package. Uh, you have a README here, and basically it should give you all information, uh, how to set up some basic configuration. But uh, as the Coneworks is not the usual plugin, let me show you quickly how to, how to set it up and uh, how to start using that. So, okay, first we all know how to upload plugins. In that readme you have URLs. Uh, what you need is Coneworks and Coneworks GPT. Once you have that, uh, let's go into it. So, Coneworks is workflow builder. Uh, we call that services. You can have multiple of them. And uh, let's start create new uh, MCP test, for example. And here you have templates. Uh, and just choose here uh, server example. And voila. So we have our new service. Okay, uh, here is the definition. Everything is here. Uh, first thing, if you want to enable it to work, uh, you have to enable that platform. Uh, we have these things called platforms. Uh, okay, no icon here. Uh, and just enable. And okay. So, right now, this server is uh, live. And you can start using that. Uh, the URL to it, uh, we have here a releases view. And now I can copy URL to that server. And let me start Cloudy. Here we have settings to add our servers. I already have one uh, from before. Okay, let me just paste new URL. Uh, okay, the cloud is working through proxy. Uh, so you have to install the MCP proxy. It's also uh, on the readme. Uh, Okay, and uh, now I updated that. Uh, let me quit again. Cloudy. And now, okay, we have tools. So those are tools registered with our MCP server. Uh, there is also a prompt somewhere. I don't know this GUI. Okay, so uh, and what we can do, uh, we can say list me last three posts. Okay, so it's calling our uh, our uh, server. Let's allow that. Okay, let me switch it here. Yeah, so these are those uh, last three uh, posts. So it's connected. It's working. Uh, what you can, uh, so basic configurations, uh, by default, uh, those calls are not authenticated, but if you want to do, so to be able to create post or something like that, uh, then you can put here your ID. Be careful if it's publicly available server. Uh, and here uh, you have a, a REST APIs from WordPress. Uh, here you have a full list somewhere here. Uh, 
uh, and uh, we didn't want to enable all at once uh, just couple uh, just one right now but you can enable that more uh, let me just introduce you how the con works itself is working so uh, here is your server here is the main component you can when you click on component you can see its properties you will always have some small help here uh, basically we have uh, it's a container component and then we have this flow inside of it when some call is triggered the, the, these things are executed uh, I put some comments uh, that you can uh, write uh, to explain uh, what's going on here is our procedure uh, if we want to have aut authenticated calls right so set current user <laughs> not that uh, much smart uh, okay and we have this includes so like in php include script some reusable fragments uh, you can uh, select another one uh, you can have multiple of them you can for example copy paste and have two examples uh, you can also follow uh, to see exactly how that implementation work uh, looks and here we are working with uh, filters WordPress and uh, dynamically registering functions uh, which are actually defined here in code right so you are just uh, registering function which will be executed uh, and uh, actually the native way how the Comoworks works uh, is through no code uh, so you can define your function uh, whatever parameters it will have uh, and here in the body you can have a workflow do whatever you want uh, for example even loops and uh, query database and then return some result this is actually how the convex uh, works uh, and uh, yeah here is that <laughs> famous example you can also expose uh, call user function and uh, in that way a bot actually can call almost any php or wordpress function available in the system it's uh, quite funny okay that would be for now uh, when you make changes don't forget to press save, uh, drag and drop, uh, change properties, and uh, your thing is uh, ready. Uh, okay, uh, I hope you will have fun with it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on Twitter, uh, wherever, and enjoy. Uh, bye for now.